now. We are glad to conduct the Azadi Ka Amal Mahatsa on the occasion of 75th annual years of independence. In collaboration with Aurora Painting College, Ramantapur, we heartily welcome Uday Shankar Garu, Station Director of All India, Radio FM, Anil Bhagat, Social Activist, and Madhubala Man, Professor of Aurora PG College. All the respective members raising the attention. I would like to call Uday Shankar Garu to talk a few lines of today's program. Mukhini Jepe the Nendi Manpuna Aukashalani Tilskundu Nirash Padakunda Vere Vere Margalki Malakunda Deshanki Mire Bhavishat Gabati Andaru Unnath Sikralo Sadin Chalni Kurtu Saladis Kundna I would like to call Anil Bhagat sir for uh, a few lines to explain about this topic. Azadi ka Amrut Mahatsa, 75 years of independence, uh, Karakan Mudhiskoni, All India Radium FM Walu, Manarora College Lo Yoka program, Youth uh, Talent Hunt program, Kandan Jesnanduku, thank you very much. E Karakram Lo, Nanukuda involved Jesnanduku, thank you, Odeshan Kandar, Alage DD Channel Walaku, Alage Kada College Management Walu, Mark Mitchna Short Notice La, while these Koni Maki program Jesnanduku, thank you very much for Aurora College. May Injapthu and the youth key, 75 years of independence La, Manamino. In the Mandi Tagal Jesse Matame, Manam in the Swedish Matlartunam, Adeogala Valo, Tagal Jacobote, Manamekado, Euro, permission is Kone, Inca, Ayaka, Rajamana on Tuntimi. Thought in Eno, E. Karakamandara, Youth Kinja Padals Kunante, Miyaka Talent Express Jesavaka Semi Cochindi, Mana Puriculo, and a Purikl and a Purikl and Epodo, Unal Gadu, seventy five years of Manavalu, Manatata, Manamuta, the Mana Freedom Fighters, Evade, E. Deshan Kosam, E. Nela Kosam, part of Patina Pratakar Gunchi, Tanstuna. Avakasam Manaka Kitchen, E. Karakramani, Deshamanta, Nirvai Suna, Ministry of Broadcast Valaku, and Prateka, the Nevada Jeptuna, and Nukante Evoro Ekado Manamu, Ekada Manamunturamu, Kani Kashmirla, the Asian Kosam Poradna Lunturu, Kerala, the Asian Kosam Poradna Lunturu, Valandani Manam Gurti Eskudam, recent Koka seven days back, Ranchi Kaina, Kanakada Airport by Empire Vetter, El Sandi, Birsa Munda Airport and Vetteru, Birsa Munda and Vekti Orente. Okay, freedom fighter, tribal freedom fighter. Man, the Asia Swatantran Kosam, tribals lala, okay, Chetanya and Chetanya and Nimpi, Man, the Asia and the Swatantra Mendu Kaval and Jeppi, Jarkand area lala, in the Utemal Jesaru, Atlantic Victor and Gurtu Jesuna, Gurtu Jeskols, Nakasa Markets Nanduku, Atlantic Program Jesnanduku, All India Radio FM Walaku, Chana Thanks, Indukante, Euro Chesar Gada, Manamendu Thanks Japal and Alasna China and Dana Gada. For example, we have a father and a father. We have a father and a father. We have a photo and a photo. 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 We have a photo and a Manaka Yaka digital Yugamlo, Ever Ekaduna Sare, Social Media Dora, Manam famous gods, Ovala Manak talent Tunte, Euro Manara, Manana, Palana Victandi, caught in Ena, Kala Lipene, Ovala Nik talent Tunda, no famous Ipato, Nik talent to Nijayatika no Kastabarta, no Saksidato, youth are different, different talents Tunde, only education classroom work. Uh, education gado different byte socio economic issues gurinchi telusukovali samajika aarthika vyavastha gurinchi samajika aarthika status etla undanna telusukovali lekunte manam andaram gorre laga aipotam chadukunna gorre lam aipotam ante oka degree teeskunna oka goat sheep laga aipotam boss em cheptadu inedattu kaadu manam aalochinchali ippudu chudandi for example sar chepparu kada manaku ikkada sadanga na manaku technology koncham issue ochindi we are not dependent on the technology. We are dependent on ourselves and our college and our concept. Okay? So, what do you want to say? If you don't have a mic, you can talk to me. That's why we are talking to you. This program is very important. This is the youth of the youth. Thank you so much. I would like to call Anil Bhagat, Social Activist, and Madhubala Mahal.
for giving the opportunity to our students to exhibit their talent. So all the best to all of you. So today we have two competitions, that is one elocution, another one is group discussion. I would like to start the elocution program with Hari Teja from A section. Elocution lo name and school topic in that youth in nation building. So youth in nation building. Kada rondo padal hone. O kati youth hundi, o kati nation hundi. Youth ante hundi manushi cycle lo o ka sthai wala ni youth an mana pelus to. Apur wala age ane di dega dega ra fourteen years manchi twenty six years manchilo onto. So in kada youth ane wala lo speciality act ante wala low pata una. Organs and like Sharira Kangani, Manasika Kangani, Walu, Into speed, capable of under Armada. So, at the nation is in the geographical conditions, different people in Daro, while a traditional culture, Kanusaran, Walantra, Walu, while identification goes on, Oka border and their fetch for a different nations, Kavalu, Air Parthrama. You put youth role nation building like Elam. अंदर ये पुरे युद्ध नेशन परंगा काफ़ी ना नेशन लो उन्हें भी मंच ले मना में को कर ग्रुप ऑफ पीपल ओके देखा कर ची वालंतर वालों का लाइफस्टाइल नहीं फॉलो है तो मानो का डिफरेंट कल्चर डिफरेंट नेशन अन्न मानो पीलूस था सो ऑटोमेटिक का मनम डेवलप आई थे नेशन डेवलप आई तो रहते सो इल्ला युद्ध so, here we have a good person to do a good person. A good person to do a good person to do a good person. And this is the age of age. So, we have 75 years of independence. I have a good life in my life. I am a freedom fighter. 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 वालू ब्रिटिश वाले इन्हें टेम मरने को बानी साल विदंग का मरन मार्स तो ना दान वाले इन्हें टेम मना योग का आलोचना शक्ति आने दी कोली पोतो ना मना योग का भला मने द मना तिल्स को लेकर पोतो ना सो प्रतियोग को फ्रीडम फाइटर इंडिया रा वाला नहीं दुख कोर कुने टेम मना तला मना स्वेच्छा का बदकर डान की मना य अनेक वालों प्रतियोग का फ्रीडम फाइटर ने दी पोटलाडेरो माना की रोज फ्रीडम होची थी सो नेनो का मैसेज एमी वाला अनुकूल ना नेटे माना यूथ परम होची माना यूथ अनेक दी माना सक्सेस इन्ना डू डब्बू दोन पोल्स को होत माना माना सक्सेस अनेक दी नॉलेज तोन पोल्स को माना बाला माना बाया लाने कोवट को माना Kali mana lawan pertama mana mereka ni boundary spread kau ni mana antara mana mereka wadi lawan irik kau tu, baik di kelar, kotak bishaya kau ni cahal atau cincah, mana ni mana am develop jess kau ni nation ni kau develop jaya, so vivek ananda England ni wal, prati oker ini nanti mana lawan pertama mana knowledge ni pempol ni cerdik ni ke mana ni mana India kau sam port lada, kali ini rojo name gaman ini nanti, na jiwit orang name gaman ini kau tu ni nanti. कोनी भयाला तो नहीं नहीं मुगट राले का पोतो ना कोनी इपुर कम्युनिकेशन प्रॉब्लम है अंतु ना लैंग इपुर ना को इंग्लिश ला मार रहा लड़ने मंदु भय भय तो नहीं कनी दान वाला ने नेम चल्स को ना असल लैंग्वेज जंटे हिंदी माना लोपटा उन्ना को ने आलो चलो इधर तो बेटे तेलपालांटो का भाषा नेता � so, in the youth, I would like to say that there is a lot of fear in the youth. So, I would like to say that 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 I would like to say clarity. I would like to say that I would like to say that I would like to say that I would like to say that. So, I would like to say that I would like to say that. So, I would like to say that this lifespan is the same. तो 15 नौ ची 26 इयर्स से ये तो गैप हूँ तो इधर नहीं तो माना चाला इम्पोर्टेंट है हमारे इकड़ा माना हम वेरे वेरे एक्टिविटीज लालो माना यो का इंटेलिजेंस में वेस्ट जेस को कोणा इन तो आरुदा ही ना दी सत्यमो धर्माबद्ध माइना वाटी ना आधार ना जेस को नहीं माना यो का कोरी कला नहीं तो म
education is the important weapon which changes the world and develops the world. So I really want to say that does education really need a gender? No. So I, I say no. I really say that education is about what we learn and how we develop and individual development which will uh, eventually lead to the world development. Today, 49% of the women in the world are pursuing education. In India, we really live in an opinionated world where my, my, my fellow mates say that asal education and the kappa girls ki hari. I really feel that uh, individual education will lead to the country education and oka girl educate hai te, oka house will be developed and country will be developed and eventually the world will be developed to encourage uh, ed girl education and I really hope from 49% uh, it, it will become to the 100% where everyone feels that uh, education is really important for girls where it uh, eventually uh, eventually leads to the world development. Thank you all. Uh, Go girls, let's just uh, rock the world with the education. Thank you, thanking you, live on your planet. Thank you. Thank you Nidima for your good thoughts uh, and sharing with those with us. Uh, I would like to call next participant, uh, Jyotir Mai. Hello everyone. I'm here to speak and present about the women empowerment. Women plays a very important role in the society and she has a very own responsibilities to make their family and society to feel comfortable in their lives. We pray the goddess we are females, many of them, they are for, the, for wealth, we pray for Lakshmi and for power and strength we pray for Durga and the education and knowledge for wisdom for Saraswati. The women and the females in the society are very important and play a key role in the society. So to educate them and support them in the family, the family and the other people should encourage them in the society to leave them freely. The women who have very talent, who are very talented and multitasker, they no have no appreciation and recognition in the society. To encourage them, we have to support and responsibility to teach them as women are the very important people in the life. The multitasker and the talented people who are in the society, the women, they are no recognition in the society if they have the talent and many other responsibilities. The women who are in the job and their satisfaction, they have to take care of the families and the society. The actual woman empowerment will come by making an woman economically independent. Thank you. Thank you Jyotir Mai for sharing your thoughts on uh, women empowerment. I would like to call the next participant Abhay from B section. Today I am going to say some words about my Bharat. My topic is Digital India. We should stay in our own way that we have to change something in our country. जैसा भारत अभी है हमें वैसा पसंद नहीं है हमें इसे और विकसित करना है हमें किसी की मदद की जरूरत नहीं है हमें खुद में अगर हर एक भारतीय में ये इच्छा जाग जाए कि हमें इस भारत को बदलना है और हर एक दूसरे कंट्री से बेहतर बनाना है तो ये भारत बहुत अच्छी ऊंचाइयों तक पहुंच सकता है I would like to call Akshita from uh, D1 section. The one who suffers the fear, the one who bears the sorrow uh, to make the family happy, the one who uh, intake all the uh, fears and the struggle to make a smile to the family is none other than woman. So good afternoon to one and all. My name is Akshita Lahari and I am from section B. So today's my topic is women empowerment. So the actual meaning of women empowerment is bringing out the ability of the women where they are lacking of in front of the society so that they are not e they are to the equal to the men. 
so okay we can uh, we can think that women are little bit weaker when compared to the men in physical strength but we are twice more better than a man in a mental strength why in a physical sense they are weaker means there are few situations where women can't overcome their pain but still strives to be equal to the man and i just want to share my live example uh, when we were studying in our education degree where we were given the project like a invisible woman where we need to work out how woman is uh, equal and how she be a shadow to the family a invisible woman is a one who be a shadow to her family by uh, taking the work in the office by taking the work in the house and even strives to develop her uh, talent in build so and uh, in that topic we just compared a woman with few things i just want to say that the first main thing is she is compared with the angel why angel means she is the one who gives us the uh, wishes whatever we want in our life so i treated her as a uh, angel because a uh, just example a uh, mother when we are happy it is just to be her happy when we are in a mood of a little bit a mood swing she tries to make her happy so if one woman is educated in the family she will educate the entire family in the world and in the olden days where the women were treated as liability to their family where men were treated as asset but the scenario has drastic changed where now women and men both are treated as assets so i just want to conclude my topic by saying that woman is like a tea bag until and unless she is put in hot water the taste of the tea will not come so thank you for that i would like to call hanu ravi teja from b section my topic is about the skill india the skill india or the national skill development mission of india is first development by our narendra modi in 15 july 2016 ఇది ఎందుకు ఇన్వెంట్ చేశాడు అంటే ఇప్పుడు అందరికి ఒకటి కొన్ని ఉంటుంది స్కిల్స్ ఒకరికి సాంగ్స్ బాగా పాడతారు ఒక ఆయన డాన్స్ బాగా చెప్పారు ఒకరికి వంట బాగా చేస్తారు ఆ పని ఉన్నా కూడా అందరికి ఒక స్కిల్ ఉంటుంది కాబట్టి ఎవరైనా రావచ్చు ఇప్పుడు మనది ఎక్స్పోర్ట్ చేసుకుందాం టాలెంట్స్ ఎక్స్పోర్ట్ చేయాలని చెప్పి వచ్చాను అండ్ ఇక్కడ ఏంటంటే అందరికి ఒక స్కిల్ ఉంటుంది కాబట్టి మీరు వచ్చి ఎక్స్పోర్ట్స్ చేయండి ఆ స్కిల్ ఎక్స్పోర్ట్ చేయండి ఏమైతే అయిపోతారు ఏం అనుకోరు ఇప్పుడు ఎవరైనా వచ్చి ఏదో ఉంటాడు నువ్వు ఏంద్రా అంటాడు ఎందుకు అవన్నీ తెలిసి వచ్చి మీ ఓన్గా ఎక్స్పోజ్ చేయండి మీరు టాలెంట్ కూడా ఎక్స్పోజ్ చేయండి ఒక ఇంపార్టెంట్ థింగ్ ఇస్ దట్ ఈస్ దట్ అవర్ ఐడెంటిటీ ఇన్ ద వరల్డ్ మస్ చేయ ఫ్రమ్ ది స్కామ్ ఇండియా టు ఇండియా థ్యాంక్ యూ ఐ వుడ్ లైక్ టు కాల్ ప్రవళిక ఫ్రమ్ ఈ వన్ సెక్షన్ ఐ టీ ప్రవళిక ఫ్రమ్ ఈ వన్ అరోరా పీజీ కాలేజ్ రామంతపూర్ సో టుడే మై టాపిక్ ఈస్ అబౌట్ ఉమెన్ ఎంపవర్మెంట్ so women empowerment what is women empowerment women empowerment is nothing but giving a uh, empowerment to the women like encouraging them in various sectors or giving them a knowledge or training etc today i would like to give a live example of my mother who is a woman entrepreneur present as she studied in the social welfare school she completed her mba with 85 percentage later she studied in the social welfare school and government so she wanted to render her service to the government she wanted to render her service to the society so one fine day we had a plan discussion in our family that what to do how can we render a service to the society only for the women in the poverty and also the widows see nowadays we find many people a uh, woman don't have uh, correct education some have education but they don't have sectors where people get encouraged so we had a plan of doing all this so one fine day we have come to that end that to keep a institute for sn constable for all the women giving them a free education so almost from telangana and ap we got 2600 members we educated them freely for sn constables so out of that 1600 members were selected as constables and 30 members as sas 9 as vros and 8 as vrs later then again we got a thought that see if we have the people who have education can go 
anywhere. Then what about the people who is not having education? There are many poor, they have many widows, there are many orphans. Again later we got a thought that what to do. Again we started thinking that to give a small garments where we can start a stitching unit. So that people can learn it very easy, right? Uh, stitching is not that hard. So we started a stitching unit with a small room with two orphans and two widows. And later now we are like five, we have a five floors building with 100 members in that 60 orphans, 30 widows and 10 normal people. Now my mother is one of the best entrepreneurs for Telangana. She has secured the best all Indian first entrepreneur, woman entrepreneur. And now we got, uh, she is a Telangana head vice president for industries. And again, we are going to start a new scheme called that uh, uh, like financial support to the people who are widows and orphans. From we have started an initiative. And like, I don't want to extend it more. I would like to end this. But what I, I wanted to say from this example is, see, women and men are not equally treated once upon a time, but now they are treated equally. So whatever, see all the standing or sitting men here, I would like to request you all to encourage the women in all the aspects. So I'm signing your Jai Hind. I would like to uh, call Hanuman from D1 section. My topic is digital India. I have mobile phone. Previously, in 2015, I uh, 14.4 14 uh, cross mobiles in Madagara, and the Mundu Madagara and Etagani, Inga, Aim Madagara, Asaukaria, Aim Levu. This is Raja Mundu Madagara, lack of knowledge and a Takonde. A put at the YouTube and Insta, Facebook and even start in a puddle. Lots of people are gaining knowledge from that. People used to work on that and learn something from that. Indonesia Videshi Parishramika Petupadalu and Edi Etwanti Kodudu Lekunda Sahat Jaragadam Jarutu Petupadalu Petadam Jarutundi Tadwara Baradesham Lo Parishramika Abruti Jarigi Sataga Employment Uduga Kashal Nukalpin Shadam Jarutundi. Thank you. And that is the name. My topic is Digital India. So before getting into the complete details of Digital India, I would like to take you all uh, 10 or 15 years back in the present economy what we were. I know we all were very kids and some of uh, some of us may be toddlers too. But I mean to say that how the India was. So if you look at the India, everything was so traditional. If you go in any sector, it might be banking, it may be education, it may be anything. In every sector, it was being completely traditional. If you are looking at the current generation now, and it was way digitalized in a very different way. So I would like to get, take you one of the situation like demonetization. Hope you all have remembered that phase where many of us carried our 500 rupee and 1000 rupee notes in the hands and we have rushed to the banks. Hope you all have remembered it. Yes or no? Yes. Uh, so that's a very tough phase where our country has faced. But uh, I would like to say before of the coming to that phase, we have gone through a very tremendous change in a country where a new policy was introduced by our Prime Minister Narendra Modi in July 1st, 2015. Uh, that is Digital India. The main concept of this Digital India is to take a country in a digitalized way, in every sector, in a digitalized way, we have to transform our things. So if you see how the functionalities of every sector which we have compared 10 years ago, now it has changed in a very different way. If you look, the 10 years back, the scholarships were directly given in the form of checks to the students. But now, the, in the initial way, if you go and apply, the scholarship directly comes to the bank itself. It's only because of the digitalization. And going to the other part, uh, if before of the 5 years or 10 years of introduction of this, we all used to carry cash in our pocket while traveling and all. We had many problems of Bulgari, where the theft and many things has happened. Now, with the UPI, which we use generally in our day-to-day -day life, 
it is, has become very asset free. If you go anywhere, we can scan the QR and we can pay the payment very easily. So, coming to that like this, many things have changed in the process of digital India. Even the rural, rural part of India has been introduced with the internet and the way the facilities and the schemes of the government has given to them. It's only because of the introduction of the digital India concept by the Prime Minister. So, with this introduction, everything has become so easy for us to do the transactions and all. And now in the current situation also, with the pandemic, where the education has become a very tough thing, where we everyone has adapted to the online education. That is only because of the digital India, where the techniques and the sites of which have already been developed by the government, it has become very easy. So as I mentioned, I don't take much of your time. Thank you for giving this opportunity. And it has a way, tremendous change for India to get transformed in the introduction of the digital India. And we wish as being the students and the coming nation and the future citizens, taking this technology in a very defined way and develop on a country in a very tremendous way. I hope you all do and take a part on this. We shall all see in there. Thank you so much. Jay Jay Bharat. Thank you. I would like to call the next participant of, of elocution, Manika Ta from B section. Today I want to speak about role of youth in nation building. As we all know, youth are the youth are the major people for develop a country or nation. Because youth are having youth are having fast learning skills, capacities to develop a country in better position. Youth are the role model for this for the students to develop and to influence by them to do such to such type of like, such type of works are done by them. Today I am going to share a message like by, given by Swami Vivekananda. Strength is life, weakness is death, opportunity is a chance, etc. Thank you. I'd like to thank uh, Azadi Kamran Mahotsav and All India Radio for giving me this opportunity. Today my topic is about women empowerment. Uh, women empowerment is uh, not only about uh, letting women uh, make their decisions but uh, giving them equal opportunities uh, in presenting their viewpoints in every field. Uh, and we can see uh, there are many women in our history uh, and in current, uh, current scenario. Uh, firstly, I'd like to say about uh, Indira Gandhi. Uh, she is the first and only uh, uh, woman Prime Minister of India. And uh, recently we also have uh, Harna Sandhu who won uh, Miss Universe 2021. Her message is about uh, letting the uh, youth take their own decisions and uh, do not lose their uniqueness. So in every field uh, in India, women are more stronger and they are becoming more stronger and uh, they are gaining more equal opportunities. I would like to call Pranay from B1 section. I am going to speak about youth icons of India. Generally, children often feel like to become a youth icon and they inspire people. And also, they are self-motivated with positive attitude towards their career and their life. But nowadays, becoming a youth icon is not so easy because Every youth icon must ensure that he must set a positive feedback and also he must set a positive preference in order to leave a legacy and also inspire many people. So, in, uh, as per our India, the famous country, it has become successful in providing the youth icons of India and to name a few, Virat Kohli, P.V. Sindhu, Hampi Kulneru, Anand Kumar and Sundar Pichai is also one of the famous personalities of youth icons of India. So. One of the famous youth icon and personality who is known to everyone is Virat Kohli. He is currently as Indian captain and also he has become a best uh, batsman in the Indian cricket team. Is, uh, one of the scenario I would like to take is once there is a cricket match and before cricket match his father is dead. But the thing is that rather than becoming depressed, the Virat Kohli has become successful to win the match and he has scored 150 runs in an ODI match. Secondly, I would like to speak about PV Sindhu. And PV Sindhu is none other than India's former ace shuttle. India's former ace shuttler, where she is well known for playing shuttle and badminton in the player. Thirdly, I would like to, uh, the most famous personality which inspires me a lot is Hampi Kundero. In recently FIFA 2012 chess board, she has excellent frame. And also, Hampi Kundero, the best thing about Hampi Kundero is it's a clear, she has a clear vision and focus. The two main criteria we can take from the Hampi Kundero. And she is also known for critical thinking and detail oriented person. 
when coming to Sindhar Pichai, he is the CEO of the Alphabetic Inc. company as well as the CEO of Google where he has started his journey from Chennai and being a production manager, he has now become a CEO of India, Google. So, to conclude with, I would say that every becoming a youth icon is not so easy but just by influencing and motivating doesn't make all. So, I request everyone and the future Aurorians, the best of the become the best versions of themselves. So, cheers guys, all the Aurorians, we become the best versions of yourself and I also con heartily congratulate everyone and wish very good luck to become the future icons of our India. Thank you so much for being patient throughout the session for providing me this opportunity to speak before you. Thank you very much. On the occasion of the Azadi Ka Amrit Mahatsa, on the completion of the 75 independence, I'm talking about on girls' education. Across history, it has been uh, it has been seen that women is neglected on all fronts. Uh, women it, uh, women is uh, not allowed uh, not allowed uh, in public sphere uh, as they were not mean to take part in it. Uh, education itself, it is very important irrespective of whether the child is a boy or girl. Education is very important tool. Education for girls is a uh, most important tool uh, to bring the balance in society. Uh, education is the first step to give the woman the power to choose the way as she wants to lead. And uh, education also helps the woman uh, to be more productive in her, in her life. Uh, why the education is important in women's life. Uh, when girls have uh, access to education, they develop the knowledge, confidence and life skills. These are necessary to navigate and adopt to an ever-changing world. The, the education of girls not only helps them to be achieve their individual life, but also helps to break uh, intergenerational cycles of poverty. If we wish to see India progress and develop, we need to educate our uh, girls' child. They are indeed of our future generations. Uh, and, uh, and our economy can also grow faster if more and more women can uh, financially strong, thereby reducing poverty. Moreover, when they become educated, they will not have to be dependent on others for their livelihood. Thank you for giving me this opportunity. Santosh Kumar Yadav from MCAA section. My topic is Digital India. Digital India is started by our Prime Minister, Mr. Narendra Modi, in, in uh, 2015, 1st July, in, it's six years ago. So, Digital India means nowadays all are digital. Means like we have to make payments, we, have, we go directly shops and make payment. We don't require digital liquid, cash. We directly go purchase anything and we pay. But earlier we don't have, uh, we, we don't digital, so we have to go shop, we have to bury, we have to take uh, cash with me, so then only we can uh, purchase any things. Nowadays we have to, shopping is very easy, Amazon, Flipkart, this all are digital India only. With the help of digital India, we can purchase online directly without any, uh, like without any problems. We search the products and according to our requirement, we can buy and um, there is also cash and delivery also, online payment also, uh, online payment like uh, phone pay, Google pay, these all are digital only. When not digital was started earlier, uh, before World War, there is not any communication. Digital is used for communication between one person to another person. We can sit here and we can communicate with another countries, another friends with security way, with the secret persons. So that's why digital India is, uh, nowadays digital is increasing, network is also increasing, security is also increasing. So the people are thinking that engineer was thinking how can our products our uh, documents, our data with the miscellaneous, with the hackers. So we can protect our document also. The India was working on that, and now the Narendra Modi has showed, says that make in India, we can improve our India. We have to improve our India, not depend on other countries, 
to improve uh, that use their soft skills use their uh, like uh, microsoft we have to things then we can also build our uh, like uh, stationaries laptops like things uh, so thank you sir thank you all of you i would like to call spandana from c1 section children often look up to a role model for uh, inspiration by growing up it is not easy to be a role model role icon here i would like to present a few dynamic uh, hard working and talented youth icons uh, can inspire a child uh, to do well in life firstly i will start with the parents parents are the most widely followed up by the children and uh, look up as a role role model their uh, struggles and achievements have most probably uh, have witnessed the their youth icon my role model is abdul kalam uh, abdul kalam was a, a very intellectual and a learned indian aerospace scientist 11th uh, president of india from 2002 to 2007 uh, although he is not uh, no longer in this world but still he is fondly remembered and respectable uh, for his achievements and ideas Uh, and lastly i would like to share about uh, pv sindhu uh, she is youth icon that every ch child and uh, youth of the country familiar with the pv sindhu uh, she was uh, she has never failed uh, to impress the to inspire the youth of the country i would like to say that uh, don't hide your talents try to show that to the world by hiding you don't get anything thank you so much for giving me this wonderful opportunity thank you for conducting this program youth talent hunt program so my topic is about make in india make in india is doing this under this program many companies have been founded and initiated with for example electric vehicles like ather and now make in india companies like Crompton Greaves and other companies such as Tata, all these companies have been performing good. And under this Make in India scheme, what I have noticed is there has been a recognition that has been given by the central government to the company, saying that label your products with Make in India tagline so that the customers will easily recognize that the products are made in India itself, uh, so that there there won't be any confusion. for the customers and as well as the company's recognition will be improved and increased with this tagline of make in india and wishing india to be the leading exporter compared to other countries competing with other countries wishing india to be the leading exporter to do well in other sectors as well not only in confined to certain fields to do well in other sectors as well Thank you. Make in India was launched by PM Narendra Modi in 2014 to set up an our nation in the developing country and the developed country. The main aim is to increase the GDP. So in 2019, it is up, the aim is to 25 percent of the GDP, uh, and it providing manufacturing in within India and providing uh, uh, job opportunities to the. Youth and upcoming entrepreneurs uh, to decrease exports and to increase our Indian products and uh, enhancing our India in a, in the global nation. I would like to call Vishnu. My topic about. skill india so well when of my friends have been saying abdul kalam a primary of something so i even love to that and indian economy right so skill india so when we will talk about the back story of the history so you know the rocket space right the skill india the first rocket has been carried from the cycle and super computer when we talk about the super computer and lot of indian uh, indian powerful economy was refused to sell or refused to get but the skill power of the indian made themselves power shiva the super computer of india so why we even needed for skills over there so in order to become a super economy in india 
uh, you may can call after 10 years india may be a super economy in power of the economy and skill you call yourself a lot of people who is right now leading in marketing and corporate level a uh, lot of people even uh, talk about the history of uh, in east india company right east india company which used to rule over there right now the indian owner of the east india sanjeev malhotra he is owning right now company it will be lovely to have over there so a lot of people think why we have to spend a lot of people uh, indian is a labor labor developed company right a lot of skill have been over there a uh, lot of ceos of company sundar pichai uh, microsoft satya nadella ibm of uh, sanjeev raya so skill india is one of the program which we have been for the indian organization which leads lot of over for different niche some people will be a adobe or good kind of so as if now if i compare what is the most capital funded which we can provide over in skill level lot of people over there as if our mba student we have even looking for them as a finance hr marketing what will be going to be have over there we will put utilize over there and we looking for them and look what we going to have in our skill level uh if i am going to provide my personal thing if i am a marketing guy the somewhere over there who is providing a 10 times more than me in order to compete that i have to compete over there the skill which i am going to harder talent is going to be have inherited anyway but the skill which we harder going to be in that's all one point of thanks for the thank you vishnu i would like to call pratip the topic is about like digital india today the uh, citizens of electronic learning the level so if we gonna go back for 10 years ago so there is no any like uh, if we gonna transfer any money or any, we should go to our banks or any respective uh, shops of our but uh, present we can do it at an uh, it present sitting at a home or anything so uh, so what are the main aim of this is like to reduce the paperwork and uh, to take the uh, best uh, to another level so my said what is my request is like uh, the the present digital india by everyone to take to another level of the thank you uh, my name is dashrath kamli mba uh, section c today i am going to speak about uh, atmanirbhar bharat which means self reliance moving to the past period before the independence our india our india has started the self reliance movement in the name of swadeshi movement swadeshi movement which was mostly famous uh, done by the mahatma gandhi hmm? what do you mean by swadeshi movement boycotting the foreign goods and producing the swadeshi uh, products atmanirbhar bharat was started actually it can say in 2004 our later uh, ex prime minister ex prime minister manmohan singh has started a uh, self reliance movement uh, which was not uh, mostly not famous but in 2014 our uh, our uh, what do you call uh, sorry honorable prime minister sri narendra nath modi started uh, atmanirbhar bharat which means self reliant in all the sectors not only in uh, economic but also infrastructure system and uh, democracy and um, and defense uh, after the pandemic attack in uh, in 2020 um are uh, our honorable prime minister has taken this decision to make the skill india in, to a full extent um full extent which the india has co- contributed almost 283 billion dollars uh, 83 billion dollars for the atmanirbhar bharat which is a 10% of the gdp of the country so we have completed our electrification competition <laughs>
గత డెబ్బై ఐదు సంవత్సరాలలో విశేషమైన ప్రగతి సాధించిన నాణ్యమైన విద్య విషయంలో మరింత కృషి చేయవలసిన అవసరం ఉంది విద్యా ప్రమాణాల అభివృద్ధి నివేదికలలో అంతర్జాతీయ స్థాయిలో మనం మరింత మెరుగుపడాల్సిన అవసరం ఉంది మన దేశంలో నలభై రెండవ రాజ్యాంగ సవరణ ద్వారా విద్యారంగాన్ని రాష్ట్ర జాబితా నుండి ఉమ్మడి జాబితాలోకి బదలాయించారు నలభై ఐదవ అధికరణ ప్రకారం అందరికీ నాణ్యమైన ఉచిత విద్యను అందించాలన్న లక్ష్యాన్ని మనం నిర్దేశించుకున్నాం ఈ సందర్భంగా ప్రాథమిక విద్య కన్నా ముందు ప్రీ ప్రైమరీ విధానంలో విద్యను పరిచయం చేయడంతో పాటు బాల్యంలో సరైన పోషణ అవసరాల కోసం సమగ్ర శిశు అభివృద్ధి కార్యక్రమం కింద అంగన్వాడీ కేంద్రాలను ఏర్పాటు చేయడం జరిగింది పోషణ్ అభియాన్ కింద మధ్యాహ్న భోజన పథకంలో లక్షల మంది విద్యార్థులకు విద్యతో పాటు పోషకాహారాన్ని అందజేయటం జరుగుతోంది ఇంకా గురుకుల పాఠశాలలు ఆశ్రమ పాఠశాలలు మోడల్ స్కూల్స్ కేంద్రీయ విద్యాలయాలు నవోదయ విద్యాలయాలు సాంఘిక సంక్షేమ పాఠశాలలు కస్తూరిబా బాలిక విద్యాలయాల ద్వారా సమగ్ర విద్యా విధానం అమలుకు కృషి జరుగుతుంది అలాగే స్వాతంత్రం వచ్చిన తొలినాళ్లలో ఉన్నత విద్యా సంస్థలు దేశంలో వేళ్ల మీద లెక్క పెట్టదగినవిగా అతి తక్కువగా ఉండేవి తదనంతర కాలంలో దేశం నలుమూలల ప్రఖ్యాతమైన ఐఐటీలు ఎన్ఐటీలు ఐఐఎంలు సెంట్రల్ యూనివర్సిటీలు రాష్ట్ర స్థాయి విశ్వవిద్యాలయాలు కళాశాలలు విస్తృతంగా ఏర్పాటు కాబడ్డాయి అయితే ఉన్నత విద్యలో నాణ్యతా ప్రమాణాలను మరింత మెరుగుపరచవలసిన ఆవశ్యకత ఎంతైనా ఉంది మన దేశంలో విద్యా వ్యవస్థ గత కొన్ని దశాబ్దాలుగా ఒకే మూస విధానంలో జరిగింది ప్రత్యామ్నాయ బోధన పద్ధతులపై దృష్టి కేంద్రీకరించవలసిన అవసరం ఉంది ఇటీవల కోవిడ్ సంక్షోభం వలన ఆన్లైన్ డిజిటల్ విద్యా విధానం అందుబాటులోకి వచ్చింది ప్రత్యక్ష విద్యా బోధనతో పాటు ఆన్లైన్ విధానాన్ని కూడా మరింత అభివృద్ధిపరుచుకోవాలి గత అనుభవాలను దృష్టిలో పెట్టుకుని యువతలో తార్కిక శక్తిని సృజనాత్మక ఆలోచనలను పెంపొందించుకోవాల్సిన రీతిలో నూతన విద్యా విధానం అమలు చేయాల్సి ఉంటుంది ఉన్నత విద్యలో ఇప్పుడున్న వ్యవస్థల స్థానంలో భారతీయ ఉన్నత విద్యా మండలి ఏర్పాటు చేయడం ద్వారా మన విద్యార్థులు కూడా అంతర్జాతీయ ప్రమాణాలను అందుకోగలరు విద్యార్థి తనకు నచ్చిన అంశాలను చదువుకునేలా మల్టీ డిసిప్లినరీ ఎడ్యుకేషన్ వలన అన్ని రకాల సామర్థ్యాలు మెరుగుపడతాయి దీని ద్వారా ఉపాధి అవకాశాలు పెరుగుతాయి Today we have an occasion of Azadi Ka Amrit Mahotsap, a 75th year of independence. On this occasion, we are going to have a group discussion. So this, the group discussion topic is vaccine and vaccination. So firstly, I would say that vaccine has given only for the government officers, social uh, welfare people and also the so government sectors. But many of the people were suffering. but the only vaccination was given to the government people so my name is gunala grishman so i would like to add up upon the point firstly uh, thank um, honorable prime minister sri narendra modi we all got vaccinated and some more are getting vaccinated and uh, we had two different varieties of uh, vaccine that is covaxin and covin covishield uh, so we were the first country to have two vaccines very fast మై నేమ్ ఈజ్ ఐశ్వర్య లక్ష్మి వ్యాక్సిన్ అనేది అందరూ ఏదో నెగిటివ్ పాయింట్ లా చూస్తున్నారు కానీ మనకి ఏదైనా డిసీజ్ వస్తే మనం ఎలా మెడిసిన్ తీసుకుంటాము మనం సెల్ఫ్ స్ట్రాంగ్ గా ఉండి వ్యాక్సిన్ ని కూడా అలానే తీసుకుంటే మనం మోటివేట్ అయి పక్కన వాళ్ళని కూడా మోటివేట్ చేసినట్టు ఉంటుంది ఐఎమ్ సందీప్ కుమార్ ఎంబీఏ ఫైనల్ ఇయర్ సో వ్యాక్సిన్ అనేది ప్రతి ఒక్కరు తీసుకోవాలి ఫస్ట్ డోస్ తీసుకున్న తర్వాత అంటే మన బాడీలో హ్యూమ్యూనిటీ పవర్ అనేది పెరుగుతుంది సో దానివల్ల మనము ఎలాంటి అయినా ఎలాంటి డిజిజ్ అయినా సరే మన బాడీ ఎఫెక్ట్ కాకుండా కాపాడగలుగుతుంది మనల్ని సో ఫస్ట్ డోస్ తీసుకున్న ఎయిటీ ఫోర్ డేస్ తర్వాత సెకండ్ డోస్ తీసుకోవడం వల్ల విధంగా మనం మనలో ఉన్న ఫస్ట్ ఉన్న హిమ్యూనిటీ ఇంకా డెవలప్ అవుతుంది మన హిమ్యూనిటీ సో ప్రతి ఒక్కరు వ్యాక్సినేషన్ తీసుకోవాలని మోటివేట్ చేయాలి మనం కరోనా మహమ్మారి నుంచి ప్రపంచం అంతా ఆర్థిక ప్రపంచం అంతా సఫర్ అవుతూ ఉంది అందరూ వ్యాక్సిన్ తీసుకో తీసుకోవడం ద్వారా కరోనా అనేది ఒకరి నుంచి ఒకరికి స్ప్రెడ్ కాకుండా ఉంటుంది వ్యాక్సినేషన్ కి టెక్నాలజీ అనేది చాలా యూజ్ అవుతుంది ఎలా అంటే మనం ఇప్పుడు వ్యాక్సినేషన్ తీసుకోండి తీసుకోండి అంటే ఎవరు తీసుకోరు అదే వాళ్ళ ఫేమస్ సెలబ్రిటీస్ తో చెప్తే వాళ్ళు అలా కూడా మోటివేట్ అయ్యి ఇప్పుడు ఫర్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్ మనకు నచ్చిన సెలబ్రిటీ వ్యాక్సినేషన్ తీసుకొని ఇలా మీరు జాగ్రత్తలు పాటించండి అంటే అరే మేము 
నిజంగానే సెలబ్రిటీ చెప్పారు నిజంగా వాళ్ళనే ఫాలో అవుతామని చెప్పనని అలా అయినా మోటివేషన్ ఉంది సో మనం ఎవరికి నచ్చినట్టు వాళ్ళకి ఉంటున్నాం కదా వాళ్ళకి అర్థమయ్యేలా మనం కూడా చెప్తే అందరం వ్యాక్సినేటెడ్ అవుతే మనం సెల్ఫ్ వ్యాక్సినేట్ అవుతే సరిపోదు మనం సెల్ఫ్ కేర్ అనేది తీసుకోవాలి ఇష్ట అడిగింది కదా ఇందాక వేరే వైరస్ కూడా వస్తుంది దానికి కేర్ ఎలా ఉంటుంది మనం మన సెల్ఫ్ కాన్ఫిడెన్స్తో ఉంటే అలానే సెల్ఫ్ కేర్ ఉండాలి అంతా వ్యాక్సిన్ తీసుకొని అలానే నేను మాస్క్ పెట్టుకోను లేకపోతే నేను శానిటైజ్ చేసుకున్న అప్పటికి నేను ఉంటాను నేను టూ డేస్ టూ డోసెస్ అయిపోయింది అంటే సరిపోదు కదా మనం సెల్ఫ్ కేర్ అనేది తీసుకోవాలి వీ హ్యావ్ టు ఫస్ట్లీ మనం ఇండియన్ గవర్నమెంట్కి థ్యాంక్స్ చేయాలి ఎందుకంటే ఎన్నో కంట్రీస్ ఎన్నో డెడ్ బాడీస్ మనం చూసాము లైక్ వీడియోస్లో సోషల్ మీడియాలో బికాస్ మనం సోషల్ మీడియాలో ఇరవై నాలుగు గంటలు ఉంటాం కాబట్టి ఎన్నో చూసాం బట్ మన ఇండియన్ గవర్నమెంట్ అవన్నీ కావద్దని చెప్పేసి మన కోసం ఎన్నో చేశారు సో వ్యాక్సిన్స్ కూడా మన కోసం ఫస్ట్ చేశారు చూ జపాన్ ఇట్లాంటివి కంట్రీస్ డైలీ థౌజండ్స్ ఆఫ్ డెడ్ బాడీస్ చూస్తున్నాం బట్ మన ఇక్కడ తెలంగాణలో మాత్రం అలా జరగలేదు బికాస్ మన గవర్నమెంట్ కరెక్ట్ ఉంది కాబట్టి ప్రజెంట్ అయితే ఇప్పుడు వ్యాక్సిన్ సెంటర్స్కి వెళ్ళి వ్యాక్సినేషన్ తీసుకుంటున్నాం కదా సో అక్కడ ఒక చిన్న ప్రాబ్లం వచ్చింది ఏంటంటే ఫిజికల్లీ హ్యాండ్ క్యాప్ వాళ్ళకు డోర్ స్టెప్ వ్యాక్సినేషన్ కూడా జరుగుతే ఇంకా బాగుంటుంది సో అందువల్ల అంటే వ్యాక్సిన్ సెంటర్కి తీసుకునే తీసుకొని వెళ్ళే వాళ్ళు కూడా ఉండరు కొందరికి అయితే అంటే వాళ్ళ కేర్ తీసుకోవాలి వాళ్ళకి ఇంట్లో ఉన్న వాళ్ళు సో డోర్ స్టెప్ వ్యాక్సినేషన్ కూడా జరగాలి వీ నీడ్ టు మెయింటైన్ అ సోషల్ డిస్టెన్స్ బిట్వీన్ ఈచ్ అదర్ వేర్ మాస్క్ శానిటైజ్ యువర్ సెల్ఫ్ and be vaccinated and this will be always a perfect result at the end we can find the virus so at last i would like to conclude that we all stand and salute to the warriors who have lost their life and because of us and who have gave us an example uh, through the call vaccination doctors especially give a round of applause and give and give a salute to them thank you air next Thank you.